All right, Richard Southern returns to chat about the most interesting stories of the day. And Richard, the Netflix show on notorious serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer is breaking records on the streaming service. Would you believe this thing is already the second most watched show on Netflix ever? Ever. Erica. I guess Squid Game would be number one still. Probably. So they're talking English language okay. show here. So that doesn't count hmm. in this grouping. You know what the number one is like far and away untouchable What's number that? one. What do you think it is? Oh, I'm not sure. Stranger Things season four, I thought of that, far yeah. and away. Stranger Things. But this, doesn't this show that we can't have a dark viewing habit right now that this is number two, Erica? Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. It, it's something else. It's, yeah. of course, um, the show uh, depicting the notorious serial killer. He's played by Evan Peters. And uh, the Jeffrey Dahmer story has been viewed just over 700 million total hours, making it, yes, second overall behind Stranger Things Season 4, which has been viewed a whopping 1.3 billion uh, hours. Uh, this only premiered on September 21st, so it's been a quick ride to, to almost the top. Uh, it's not without controversy, though. Families of Dahmer's victims have taken to social media to express their dismay at the show, indicating that it is re-traumatizing them, Erica. But uh, whether it's good or bad, it's another big hit there for Netflix. All right. Uh, okay, when I sometimes buy lottery tickets, I dream of winning the big money, but a new study shows some are buying tickets for simpler reasons. Would you be out of here, by the way? What Would you, like, the interesting stories reporter just be me be talking about Yeah, this would be a blank screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> where, did, where did Erica go? You'll, you'll see my sp my chair spinning as I like, head out. <laughs> I'm yeah. getting a postcard from Mexico, <laughs> from Erica. Anyways, you'd think that, yeah, we're buying lottery tickets because we want to win the big prize. But a, a big a study out of China found that's not necessarily the case. It found the real enjoyment comes with the buying of the ticket, not so much with the winning of the jackpot. Uh, the study found that people who took lottery tickets in the study were happier than people who took cash. And in fact, most of the study group who had tickets didn't even come back to check whether or not they wow. had won. And that kind of lines up with what we see in the real world, Erica. A surprisingly large amount of lotto jackpots go unclaimed every year, leading researchers to suspect that people bet that it's not the money that they're they're after, but also the, the, the mood that the buying of the ticket <laughs> gets them so hey if you plan you on buying a ticket but don't want to check it i'll, I'll check it for you don't worry that's fine. we'll scan it yeah, we'll, we'll take scan care it. of that okay finally uh, nasa seems to be able to move heaven and earth to launch special product projects rather and now they're actually moving asteroids this is cool you and i were talking about this last month when they sent that unmanned spaceship crashing into an asteroid like 11 what million kilometers away right. this is actual video of it and they were doing this to say to see hey could we actually move an asteroid if it was heading for earth the results are in they did it erica nasa mm. was successful in nudging this rocky moonlit from its natural path and it marks the first time humanity has altered the motion of a celestial body and nasa says it proves that if it were discovered early enough they could put together a mission to deflect an asteroid from hitting earth though they stress it has to be defect uh, detected early or they're going to need uh to hire uh who's the guy from the armageddon movie bruce willis bruce willis right. he's the backup plan if they can't uh, get the spaceship up there. can you imagine if we're ever in a time like that that would be uh quite scary but interesting very I'm, cool i'm sleeping more soundly now that we're able to do it though that's a good yeah. thing okay thanks richard we'll see you tomorrow see you tomorrow